All right, hey YouTube, Scott Brio here. Um, I'm just back with another tutorial. I wanted to show you guys something I was doing specifically. Hopefully this will help. I couldn't find anything like it on, the, on YouTube or on the web, um, so I thought I'd uh, show you how I did this. Um, what you're looking at here is a photo that I took, and um, I was using it for my website, but when I put up my website, all of the text that was in the middle here, um, was essentially, you couldn't really read it all that well because everything was sharp, everything was in focus, and the text was also sharp, and so your brain kind of can't separate the two. So what I wanted to do here is create a blurred middle kind of left section of the photo, uh, which is what you're seeing, and uh, if I undo this group here, you can see that uh, the original photo is nice and sharp, um, which looks great, but not super great for putting text over. Uh, so what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna uh, start from scratch here, and uh, you're gonna take your original photo layer, right, and uh, drag it down here, create a new layer off that as a copy, and uh, you can bring it all the way to the top there. So now that's the top layer. Um, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go Filter, Blur Gallery, and Tilt Shift. And uh, give it a second here, YouTube is uh, gonna think. And there you go. So now you can see that uh, YouTube is doing the typical tilt shift thing where it's blurring the top and the bottom. You can kind of see the middle. But we actually, what we want is a vertical tilt shift. And we want two of them. Um, so if you hover around these little dots, here's a red one if it's highlighted, white if not. Um, you wanna find the little left and right spinny thing. And go ahead and flip it around to the point where it's vertical, cool. And then if you click around in here by the black and white dot, you can drag it over and uh, we're gonna make uh, just the last little bit there in focus. And uh, you can drag this edge over to kind of make it more dramatic uh, more quickly because we just want the edge there. Go ahead and hit enter. So now the edge there is, is, uh, is in focus and the rest of it is blurry, but now we want to get the other side to be in focus as well. Uh, so let's do the same thing. Go ahead and drag this down, create a new layer, drag that up to the top, and do the same thing. Uh, go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift, give it a second here, and uh, go ahead and oop, grab the spinny part, whatever you want to call that spinning arrows and uh, then drag your tilt shift window over make this uh, actually maybe make this one bigger because I actually want uh, I want these details uh, to be in focus because I kind of like those and there's not a ton of text there so um, let's do that we can make this a little bit quicker uh, to go from focused uh, unfocused and uh, go ahead and hit enter there you go. Uh, so now we've got the right side that's focused and the left side unfocused. Um, so now this is where the magic happens. Go ahead and uh, click your most recent layer there and uh, go down here to the bottom right and click on the mask icon. And now that we've got the mask, you can click over here on your gradient tool. And when you have a gradient tool with a mask, what it does is it creates a transparent gradient for whatever layer that you've got the mask on. And wherever you start clicking is going to be the start of your gradient trend, translucent gradient fade. Uh, and wherever you let go is gonna be the end. And so what we wanna do here is click right around here in the middle and drag it to where, you know, uh, the fade hasn't started on the left hand side and let go. And there you go. What you've got now is uh, uh, one side being faded into the other side and you've got your left that is nice and clear, blurry center left and then a uh, clear right side, uh, all in focus on the right side. So there you go. And if you want, you can highlight both of these and then right click and go to a uh, group from layers. And we will call this um, blur again too. Uh, and you can export that and that should uh, make the text on your websites pop out a lot more and look a lot better than just having a sharp photo with text over it. That's kind of a nightmare. So anyway, if you liked the video, if it helped, go ahead and hit a like here on this uh, video and uh, give me a subscribe. I do lots of these uh, tutorials. Most of them are kind of music related, uh, but I do video and photography tutorials as well. So I am Scott Brio and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.